Hey guys, I'm Riz Grestar and I just want to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. I hope that you are in a happy relationship, but if you're not, then welcome aboard. You're single like me, single and content with it. Or if you're not content with it, maybe you should go down to your local dollar store and see if you can invest in a pair of rose-colored glasses. Now to tear this open, put them on, see how beautiful the world looks. I know, we jumped right into it, didn't we? Oh. Wow, it actually is surprisingly pink everywhere, especially my lights. They're just like glowing with power. I mean, you can see them well enough, like look at the reflection, right? Right? It's intense. In fact, it may be a little bit too intense. How about we switch over instead to these bad boys? Now these, as you can tell, are just your typical party favorite glasses. Let's see, let's see, put them on. How do I look? Oh, they actually like, they snap or open that's kind of weird and close I guess but you know mostly open <sighs> oh, okay first off they hardly fit second how do I look the answer is fabulous thank you very much now let's try on the other pink ones just to see what they look like in comparison okay let's pop these open right here uh, okay and voila glasses. I will say it looks totally weird looking through all the little slots like this. I know that there are, you know, genuine glasses, like not from the dollar store, that have designs kind of like this. I'm not sure why people, I'm not sure why people wear them, to be perfectly honest. I've never owned a legitimate bear, maybe they're better, but these it's just like, it's constantly obstructing your vision. Obviously enough, I can see through it well enough, but it's weird. Why would I want to look through little slots like this? But now, if you want to go to like a Burger King or just out in general with three of your buddies, and you want people to know that you're together, you can go to the dollar store, buy these, and they will know. They won't be like, oh, maybe those four teenagers are together. No, they'll know. To keep with the Valentine's Day theme, I'm going to move on to, well, what if I'm not in a relationship, but I have my eyes on a very special someone? Obviously enough, you need to serenade them, young lad or lass. Go out there, what are you waiting for? No, press pause on the, no, don't press pause on this bit. Or do, do press pause, do it. Point is, you can't really do anything if you don't have an instrument with which to serenade your lover. Or lover to be, that is. So, this is a guitar. Except it's a tiny guitar. Has nothing on the back, really. I don't know much about this, but I'm gonna open it and see what it's like, so. That didn't work. Try it again! Come on! Ah, oh, come on! Poke it. Just gonna poke it and pop it through. Yeah! Okay, now I got it. Now I got it. Okay, good. I'd like, did I break it already? No, I did not. Okay, so yeah, as you'd expect, just little plastic guitar with... I don't even know what that is. What kind of, like, string is this? It's just very thin plastic, I don't know. I, I mean, you could, you could still try something with this. Like, baby, 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 you're so young. I do kind of like, though, how they at least went all the way and they made it hollow in the center, more or less. I don't know. I mean, hey, credit where credit's due. Whoa, can I just peel it off right now? I was just trying to open it. Hold on. I'm like really determined now to open up this stupid guitar. Oh, I heard a popping sound. I did something. Okay. Ah. 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 So inside, all it is is just like the holes and the pegs to keep it together. We can pretend I was like a rock star and just smash this off to the side, okay? All right, don't tell anyone. Okay, so this I found rather fun. So this is a glass rose, as you might be able to see here. And it has like a little text, so I'm gonna read that to you right now. My love is true and will not fade, just like this glass rose. As this rose remains unchanged, so will my love for you. Sadly, it doesn't rhyme, but you know, it, like it's set up like it kind of should, but it doesn't. I don't know. And then just to point out the packaging. So it's just, you know, your typical cardboard. And then it has like a plastic cover on top, you know, really thin. And you can already see it like peeling off and everything. It's just held on by like two pieces of tape. That's all it is. You just have a piece of tape there and a piece of tape there. Like scotch tape, you know, like cellophane or whatever. Cellotape. Um, and... <laughs> And that's it. And and you might think, oh, well, you just picked the crappiest box. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. This every other one was like this. But anyway, so let's take the tape off and the cover off and just open it. Okay. So you know how it's all like. As this rose remains unchanged, so will my love for you. Well, if I try to pull it out, here's the stem. And here 
is the flower. It's just, yeah. No, I don't know. It's not that great. <laughs> I will say this, I will say this. Aside from the fact that like this is kind of broken and therefore a little bit sharp, and so, you know, not the best of things or whatnot, this is kind of better quality, you know, like rose than I, I thought it first would be. I don't know if it's because it's thicker or whatever, but it just feels nicer than I had expected. Still obviously isn't great. Oh, and the same kind of thing where you could just be like, oh, you know, you picked the worst one, you looked for one that was broken. No, I didn't! No! I looked through- okay, well, I checked three of them to see if they were all broken. And they were all broken the exact same way, well, at least with like how this was no longer attached. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Happy Valentine's. This is the last Valentine's Day related thing that I actually have, and it's Wajah! Yeah, this! It is Whack a Pack! Now, I'd never heard of this kind of thing before, so I'm going to read it to you in case you haven't either. So, includes four self inflating balloons. What? That's right, for the lazy people like me. It says surprise greetings. So, step one. Oh, I could just read the steps on the back. Let me just open this up real quick. There we go. Alright. So, here's. Here is one of them. It's it's the B mine one. All right. Step one: smack the pack. Step two: watch and wait. Step three: see the surprise. If you'd like to see, hopefully it'll focus, 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 focus. Okay, it's not gonna focus. It never does. But oh, probably because I just realized I have autofocus turned off. I don't know if I usually do, but I do this time. So I guess I mean like it gives you a spot. You can say to and from. I don't know, we're just gonna try to whack it and see what happens, so I'm just doing it on my desk by my microphone. It might be loud, hold on. Was I supposed to take it out of the pack first? Crap, it feels like it's still inflating inside this. I don't know if I should... I'm just gonna set it down and wait. Wow. Is that what it's supposed to... Okay, it like flew across my desk behind my computer. Aw, oh, look, it's a... It's a... Ah. Oh. Not gonna lie, like it's still... You can hear it, right? Can you hear that sound? It's still, like, inflating or something. I'm not going to lie, I actually think that this is kind of cool. And if you want to see how it popped out, it just, like, completely broke open the side of it. And just burst out. Yes, it made me jump. It should have made you jump, too. I'm curious, am I, am I supposed to not do that, though, with the other ones? Like, should it be out of the package? Anyway, it also comes with, like, four of these things, you know, one for each of the balloons and so in the end I suppose you could just kind of you know you poke it through the hole and then you could tie it and, and then you have a little balloon let me show you okay yeah <laughs> I don't know if this is exactly the right way you should I mean first off it's not like it's helium it's not gonna start floating I don't know what it is why did how does it work when you pound it like what activates here Okay, actually, look. I guess, listen. You can hear something inside. I guess it, that's what starts inflating it. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm genuinely curious now. But I feel like this is kind of a weird way to have a blue. I mean, you could hang it up somewhere. You tie it else. Tie it somewhere else. I don't know. That's, that's what you get. I am going to see, though, now. If I can open this first. And then... You know, actually, looking at this... I don't think that there are any perforations, so maybe you're not supposed to... Maybe you're not supposed to do it like that. I mean, like, open it first and then smash it. So I think I did it right the first time. Let's do it again. See, like, it opens when you first smack it. It opens that little bit there. Ah! That was fast. And then you get this one. Hugs and kisses. It's just gonna keep inflating for a minute now. That's kind of cool, though, like, I can actually feel it getting bigger. This is easily the coolest thing that I've had in this video, in my opinion. I don't know, I think that that's kind of clever. I think it's cool. It's 
you just smack the pack and then a balloon pops out and starts inflating on its own. Granted, it's small and whatever, but I like it. I like it. So like I said, that was the last Valentine's Day related thing that I had because, you know, the dollar store doesn't... I mean, it has a ton more Valentine's Day stuff, but none that really caught my eye. But something that I found in the electronics section was, voila, it's this thing. It is indeed the Nintendo DS, um, specifically the DSi um, Essentials Kit. So, it says though in here, it works with the Nintendo DS Lite and the Nintendo DSi. And I'm wondering if it would also work with like the 3DS, just not any of the XLs or anything. Because maybe this was just made before those existed. So, I'm gonna pop it open and we'll see what's inside. There's tape on it, so I'm just tearing it open. Don't judge me, I'm in a rush. And I don't have scissors, so... Yeah, I don't wanna deal with that. Alright, so pulling this out, and toss... Ah, actually, we might as well check what's on the back. If you haven't seen... That is what is on the back of the box right there. Um, it says, Kit includes protective sleeve, a game case, holds four Nintendo DS game cards, two Nintendo DS light screen protectors, two Nintendo DS eye screen protectors, and two pen stylus. I wonder, like, with the two screen protectors, does that mean we get four? Two for light and then two for the eye? Also, I don't know, like, how do the screen sizes differ between those consoles? I've never had an eye, I only have a DS light and 3DS and a normal DS, so let's see. We're opening it up here, oh, to show you, voila. So there's this, first we have le case. Okay, so the case, it just says Nintendo DS on the front, right there, if you can see that. It's pretty simple, but nothing bad. Has a Velcro latch to secure it. This just, I guess, kept it fat for me. Um, anything else inside? No, okay. So first, I do indeed have my Nintendo DS Lite right in front of me. And let's pop it in the case. There we go. Bruh. And see how that fits. You know, pretty snug and everything. It closes just fine. It is in there. It is indeed a case for the Nintendo DS Lite. Now let's take it back out. And instead, I have my Nintendo 3DS. And you might notice this is different from my the DS that I use when I'm recording 3DS games. That's because this one doesn't have the modifications, so I use it like on the go and stuff. We're popping this in the case here. Ah, uh, yeah, this works just fine. So I think the only limitation is like no, you know, 3DS XL or anything like that, or the new Nintendo 3DS XL or whatnot. Just because those are obviously a bigger size. But I mean, if you compare, you know, the DS Lite to the 3DS, they're really not much different. So, I mean, yeah, it makes sense that they both work in this. So that's pretty cool actually, for a dollar, just getting a little case like this, I think that's just fine. But, you know, not only that, not only do you get the case, you also have whatever else is in here. That, that I, oh crap, did I drop it? Oh no, it wasn't in here, it was in here. My bad, it's right here, okay. So here we have just the game, the game case, again it says Nintendo DS on the front here. Just pop that open. Um, it has two slots there, and then I guess we flip it up? Do we flip it up or do we pull it out? How does this work? Oh wait, is it double layered? Hold on. Yeah, okay. So you open this one from this side, and then you open this one from this side. That's kind of cool. So just in this little rectangle, it's pretty condensed. It's like a little bigger than a Game Boy Advance case. Actually, hold on. I happen to have a Game Boy Advance um, cartridge case right here too. So there's this. I think it's a no brand one though, so it doesn't say anything on it. And there's this. So really, it's not that much different. Like, it's a little thicker and a little taller. I mean, it's a little bigger all around, but it's not that bad. And if it holds four um, games, I also have a Nintendo DS game right here. This is Kid Icarus Uprising. If you remember, I played that on my channel. Let's see how this fits. Okay, kind of bad news here. I think it actually is specifically Nintendo DS games because I just remembered that the 3DS games have this extra little nub on the side here. If you can see that, it has that extra little nub on the top corner. And I think that's what's not letting me put it in the case. So, you know, something to keep in mind, I guess, is that this only works for DS games, not 3DS games. Let me actually grab a DS game and make sure that it works. What am I doing getting up? I have one right here in my DS Lite. Okay, what is this game anyway? Oh, okay, Drawn to Life. I forgot I owned that. I only played it a little bit and, no, no, it didn't catch my, it didn't hold my interest, really. Let's see if I pop this in here. Yeah, that, that fits perfectly. That fits just fine in there. Not falling out or anything. Now this fits. So it really is just um, the extra little nub on the 3DS games that makes it so it won't work. 
I'm just gonna keep that in there. I mean, I might as well. All right, moving on, we have the two screen protector. Come on, get out. Okay, as it says there, screen protectors. I don't know if it would actually focus. I'm not gonna wait and see. Just pop this open. Rather tear this open and just slide it on out. So say, applying Nintendo DSi bottom screen protector. Ah, instructions that I don't care to read. And I'm not even going to show you putting them on, so you guys don't need to see the rest of that. But then we have the pen stylus. If I can get these out. Let's get it out. Come on. Get out of the box. Okay. Here's the packaging. So it's just like that. Does it actually... Yeah, okay. A little, a little stylus tip pops out. Other than that, it just looks like a pen. You know, it has a little clippy thing. It says Nintendo DS on it. And yeah, it's a stylus. So it just... You can stylus with it. That's cool. I'm, I'm cool with that. And there's just a second one in there too. As you can see, still in the packaging. Um, it doesn't look any different to me, so I'm not gonna bother to take it out. But, you know, I guess if you lost your little styluses and you don't want to bother with little ones, if you actually want something that you can grip, you know, then perfect. Perfect for you. Now the very last thing I'm gonna show, because it just caught my attention out of the corner of my eye, I kind of forgot about it. Um, again, not Valentine's related, is I found this at the dollar store. It is indeed Skylanders Giants. This is Spyro. I mean, this is Spyro, right? Yeah, looking inside it is Spyro. I, the tag was torn when I got it or when I found it. Um, I never played Spyro past the original PlayStation games. Like, I played all three of them. You know, Ripto's Rage and whatnot. That's like the only one that I remember title-wise. Uh, but they were good games. I had like the collector's edition that came with all three of them, you know? It was really cool. I personally don't like what they did with him aesthetically. I feel like they made him just look like more monstrous and, in my opinion, ugly. This toy definitely helps back me up. He, I'm sure he looks a little bit better like in the animations or the games or whatnot. But I just never really, I don't know, I never really liked it. Anyway, what this is, is this little coin purse. There's a zipper on the bottom and you put coins in it. I mean, yeah, you can actually look here. It says, uh, coin collectors on the tag. I don't know if you can read that. Just at the bottom, that's what it says. There's, like, hardly any room inside his stomach, though. And the pocket is, uh, is that big. And so to fit inside his stomach, it just gets, like, weird and squishy. And I don't know who would put coins in here. Like, who would store coins in this? I mean, who? no one's gonna take this guy around, like, so he can have a dollar in change in his belly, right? I mean, maybe people would, I don't know. But I guess if you just wanna, if you like, you know, Skylanders and you just want a Spyro toy, this would do it, I imagine. I mean, I don't know, I'm not a fan, so I can't really judge, but what do you guys think? Is he your new best friend? That, that's a yes, right? Also, I guess to mention, there is this little clippy thing on his head, so you could put it on a backpack. Or if you're weird, you know, on your belt loop, like at your hip. Or something like that on a suitcase possibilities are well they have an end but I'm not going to bother going through them the wings are really thin doesn't really matter they're playing on the bottom whatever it's Spyro that's all we need to know so that'll wrap up this video guys I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a fabulous Valentine's Day whether or not you have a significant other I just hope that you know you love yourself go out and have a good time or stay in and enjoy yourself I know that I'm I'm not gonna be doing anything different today on Valentine's Day. I mean, obviously I'm recording this the day before Valentine's Day. Sorry to break the fourth wall there. But, you know, I'm not gonna be doing anything different. I'm just gonna be chilling at home, having a good time, watching YouTube videos, recording something more for you guys to watch later. So, just don't let it get you down. I know that a lot of people can have a hard time, especially around this holiday, but please do your best not to. Anyway, not to preach again. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys have a good day, and we're calling it here. Kill outro, go!